welcome back once again well in previous videos we learned power rule sum rule and the product rule and now the turn is of quotient rule let's do some practice of quotient rule and uh, let me suppose uh, this is my function y or you can say f of x equals to x over 1 plus x right this is my given function and I need to use the quotient rule and let me write here what is quotient rule okay <laughs> like if we have a function u and we have another function v and we have to find out the derivative of this function with respect to some <coughs> x okay so derivative of the function u by function v with respect to x is actually we need to first write second function then the derivative of the first function actually I'm supposing this as a one first function and I'm supposing this as a second function okay so derivative of the <coughs> sorry a derivative of the uh, um, uh, u by v is actually u is one function and v is another function first we need to write the second function v times derivative of the first function that is du by dx minus again first function times derivative of the second function and then whole divided by square of the second function all right you can say denominator here denominator times derivative of the numerator minus again numerator times derivative of the denominator whole divided by square of the denominator all right or if you say this is function one and function two then the you have to write first second function minus derivative of the first function again minus first function times derivative of the second function whole divided by the square of the second function all right the same thing exactly i'm going to use it i'm going to imagine like x is my u right and one plus x is my v so let's see here now differentiating this uh, this uh, function with uh, with respect to x both sides will be getting dy over dx equals to now see for second function that is 1 plus x I'm gonna write there okay 1 plus x again times derivative of the first function right u so it is dx over dx again minus first first function I need to write that is uh, minus uh, that that I need to write here x because x is as we have assumed I like a u now times derivative of the second function that is 1 plus x so let's find out the derivative of 1 plus x all right and now then whole divided by square of the second uh, square of the second function so my second function is actually 1 plus x and I'm gonna square it all right so now let's solve it here we are done if you compare this see second function second function say second function second function and then <coughs> derivative of the first function derivative of the first function and again minus first function first function derivative of the second function derivative of the second function and whole divided by square of the second function so now 1 plus x it's 1 plus x times dx over dx so I can easily cancel up uh, I'm going to say I will get 1 minus again x it is and derivative of 1 that is 0 and derivative of x that is again as we did here that is 1 okay and then whole divided by 1 plus x whole square so now 1 plus x right uh, be because this is 1 and you multiply anything by 1 you'll get the same quantity and again minus this is 0 and this is plus 1 so simply I'm gonna write here x and then whole divided by 1 plus x whole square all right so now here I can cancel up here few things yeah minus x minus x and plus l will cancel up and I will get 1 over 1 plus x all square so this is my actually derivative of the given function dy by dx dy by dx so this is what we need to find out here we are done right I hope you understand how to use the quotient rule first you should know this actually what 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 does this mean what is actually the quotient rule and there you just try to figure out what is my first function what is my second function or you can say just imagine the numerator as a u or the first function and imagine denominator as a second function and then use the formula and get the value that's it all right so we'll be doing some more problems a little bit more difficult in the next videos so keep watching on We'll be meeting next video. Bye-bye.